Hey guys, in this video, we are going to edit this image from start to finish. And at the end, I'm going to show you how to get amazing skin tone on your image using a secret hair code in Photoshop. And we know for that ado, let's get started. So we are going to start from the very start. So we are going to flatten the image. And the first thing we are going to do is to remove the blemishes. The pimples on the image use the spot healing brush to remove the pimples on the image as easy as this so any obvious pimples on the skin you use the spot healing brush which is the easiest method to remove pimples freckles and acne so just like that we have removed the pimples from this image the next thing we are going to do we are going to retouch the skin using the Auto fix FS action. So while on the auto fix FS action, we are going to click on the play button, and with just this one click, you get this beautiful result. So here was the before, and here is the after. We will still go further to retouch our image, but with just this one click, you get this amazing result on your skin. You can get to the action link is in the description. With just one dollar you get this beautiful amazing action so check the link in the description or in the pin comment to get the auto fix fx action right now the next thing we are going to do we are going to whiten the eye well if you zoom into the eye you can see that the eye is also sharpened which is not what we really want right now so to remove the effect of the auto fix fx from the eyes we are going to create a layer max. Make sure the layer max we create is white. Take your brush, make sure the foreground is black. This arrow key toggles the foreground from black to white, so make sure it's black. Then resize your brush, a reasonable flow, and paint over the eyes like this to remove the effect from the eye. Same with any other part of the image, you don't want the auto fix effects to affect you go and max it out using the layer max so after doing that we are going to whiten the eye create a hue saturation adjustment name it eye white and then you click on the hand picker tool then click on the eye the saturate the color it picks which is the red and increase the lightness like this now while the layer mask press ctrl i or command i to remove the effect from every other part of the image this time make sure the foreground is white and paint on the eye white to review this effect so if you paint on the eye white you are going to whiten your eye like this so it's quite easy uh, here was the before and here is the after now we we'll go on to color grade the skin the first step is to correct the obvious skin color shift so if you create a hue saturation adjustment, take your hand picker tool and click on the skin. It's going to select the skin color and now we are going to move it to the right like this. Because if we move it to the left, we are going to make the image look much more terrible. The skin color is going to become red. So we are going to move it to the right slightly so that we get this effect on our skin. We now go on to enrich the skin tone using a special code in Photoshop. So you create a solid color adjustment. And now right here in the hair code, we are going to write this hair code D49161. So that is the hair code we are going to use. Now click on OK. Change the blending mode to soft light. Now create a layer. So control I on the layer max to create a black layer. That is remove the effect from the whole image take your brush make sure foreground is white and i paint on the skin to enrich the skin color using the hair code we just applied to the solid color adjustment here in photoshop so right now the skin tone has been enriched so all we have to do is to adjust the opacity because at 100 is obviously too much so reduce the opacity so you can see before after with this hair code you can enrich your skin tone and not just that if this image your image after applying the 
or to fix fx action you still need it to be more smooth all you have to do is to right click on any layer so that you can see the flatten image option so you click on the flatten image to flatten the image and then because this image is already looking sharp we are going to deactivate the smart sharpen portion of the auto fix fx action and then when you come onto this action again and you play it it's going to smooth your image even further while retaining the skin texture so the image is now more smooth but uh, i think this is too much so we are going to reduce the opacity but not over reduce it if, when you do it on your own image you can over, you can reduce it more to get a more subtle look but since this is a tutorial i'm going to leave it at the high end so that you can see the effect more impactfully so here was the before and here is the after we can pop the skin tone we can pop the colors of the skin tone and also make it look more three-dimensional using this simple trick you duplicate the layer you name this layer pop now come to filter camera roll filter here in the camera roll filter we are going to increase the exposure if the texture is too much you reduce the texture to smoothen the skin if it's if there's no enough texture you increase the texture so right now we are going to reduce the texture just a little bit like this so we are now going to increase the highlights and we are going to increase the white like this and now we are going to click on ok to come back into photoshop now we are going to create a layer max we are going to go to image and apply image so that this affects only the highlight so here was the before and here is the after please like this video if you haven't already share your feedback in the comment section so here was the general before and here is the after don't forget how we got this smooth skin with the textures retained we use the auto fix fs action that you can get link is in the description with just one dollar you get this action so you can check the description right now or check the pin comment to get this action and if you are struggling with the payment you can just join the channel membership to get this action it has been posted in the membership community tab so share your feedback in the comment section subscribe to this channel because i'll be putting out more hair code for dark skin tone melanin skin tone chocolate skin tone and every other variations of skin tone so subscribe to this channel because we'll be putting out more helpful tip tricks and photography tutorials i'm very happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial